Hello and welcome you all. I'm my cool wolf here to show you a part of um, the animal series from Drawing to Game. At the point, we have finally made it to Godot, the first part in Godot. This is where we left off, left off at the end. What I did was end the boxes, which I grouped in all in one place. So we have a hit box, which we need to have children. And what I did with this box is basically like a folder. And when I move it in here, I have to be like, it's, it becomes local. It's just an easier way instead of going to hunt down all these boxes to do that. And we got even got them with sound. No, they gather something interesting I did. We still need to extend <laughs> some of these. So we do have the spite sheet in there, which is all it is. Find where your folders is, and drag it into your art folder, and then just drag it into there. Or just drag it onto the scene. Also, another thing maybe you might have not realized this, and maybe not. It's also maybe sometimes a good thing to call, especially if you use you know, like a universal strip, like code. And rename this the same thing for the, the easy to do that universal code. I don't know, it might have been this one here. See how this one's got a, a specific name to it, and I don't have to change, and this is the same code all over. That's probably the best example of keeping it the same name. Also, I was just lazy. <laughs> you see how up the top here, it's just gonna be kept the same. You're looking at the biggest one. I mean, this is not much different to what we have to do for the little dog eater. So now we add his first collider. This is the collider shape we desire. Now we're gonna make him circular. Get some bends on there. I'm pretty sure when they got the corners, they will more likely get stuck. Is the problem if you go corner life, fair life is to say. It's circle life, man. It's uh, it's over life all the way, you know. <laughs> there you go. Now you can't forget about that. <laughs> then we need a bigger circle for this bad boy. And we need this on 90 degrees. We do about there. Hit the hurt box. Make it bigger than the dog itself. Don't want like to do so. We do need to put. Do a lot of node stuff. This is really like over time I've just really simplified to a decent amount. You know you could just make all these into like one spot, one center point, but no, 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 I couldn't do that. But guess what? We're going for circle life here, not over life today on this one. Alright, oh whoops. And trying to make sure you move the area and the node together. I don't know. And then we get here, we put this back in the center point there, so it's in the middle. Then we go out over life, over life. <laughs> then we make it just a bit bigger than his solar collider. Oh, we can actually bring it down a little bit. I think we might as well bring it down a little bit. Then we go to here, oh whoops. Oh yeah, you prick, don't do that to me. Uh, I think that there will be all right. Okay, let's make the wonder zone 50. Which is an export variable. The best thing about them is that you can change them in certain children. Probably could make a universal animal strip. We can also make a little barking sound to hear. Oh, I didn't really pack a dog sound. I didn't really think about that. We can give him this sound. Here you guys go. Here's how to do the sound. We can give this dog this sound. Oh, can we like, can we like change the sound? I'm a genius, see? Oh my god, that's so cool. Look how look how this kind of went from like a really deep dog sound to a really light sound. I think 1.5. I don't think he's caught that yelp. What about 1.2? I'm pretty sure I could do this now. I think 1.5, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't realize it worked that effectively. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I want to see if this happens or not. Yeah, it does happen. This is probably like one of the only tools you can see the sound being played and like this. So this will happen randomly. I can make the timing. So let's say, hmm, let's say he happened, barks a little bit wherever. So we go 10 uh, to 30. 
which is the Wendham timer, so it adds a bit of whamness to the sound, so then they all go and make the sound at the same time, like the sheep don't all go bow at the same time. This right here is the hitbox. That's the hit wage. Have I did that one yet? Oh, that is hit wage. Whoops, I thought I got myself confused somewhere along there, which is still a... I'm gonna move to here, which is gonna still be a circle for later. Circle life, I think, about there. So this is, so the bigger circles is Trace Wage, that's when he would go like bloodhound and yeah. And then whenever you're on this smaller circle here, this is when he attacks you. So if we show off the blood wolf. Well, I have done a lot of dogs. <laughs> you see, if I stayed, I went too close. See, if I stayed over here, he's not going to attack me, isn't he? Until I'm in this wage. There you go. Because if I just did it when I'm in that way to attack me and still not be close enough to hurt me, which is ineffective and inefficient for the bugger. Like, you wouldn't attack something if you if it's just like, oh, I see you attack. <laughs> no, you'd be out of range in the first second you see them, unless they're really close. This is the Collider Buffs Weak Slayer. Then that's area. I use all the areas in this. We use... So basically, it's basically the same system. You make your own separate nodes and then you're making areas. So we look in all these. It's basically area, um, 2 day shape, with no shape available. Then our timer for the hitbox. So the next one. Oh, stats, stats. So stats is a, uni so stats is a universal thing for every entity, everything in the world. So eventually I'll probably add Weijin here. Maybe I'll do a video on that later, how to add Weijin. I realize I dabbled in and that's really it. I was probably gonna be plus equals health here, plus an equal 10. Or something like that. So I wanna add like regeneration to like everything will eventually have regeneration and I could change it to like how long it takes to regen. Moments like 10 eight, and probably 30 seconds I believe. But here is the code, and it does, oh no, this is inherited from all stats, so this is a strip by itself. But what i done for the player was made it to its own thing, so the player is a offshoot, uh, I guess actually the player isn't really an offshoot, it's just a same thing but a universal strip. So over here, it's got its own thing, then it becomes an offshoot by itself, and then put into auto load. And that's gonna confuse people when they see early in the, in the videos. There we are. I think it's all I can show you that one. We're here about talking about the doggy. The beautiful dog. So we got attack here. Then we got player wage, which is basically the same thing again. It's basically based on how the hurt box is set up. Okay, if we're gonna show you the code, here you go. So here's the code for this one. So we have a blood effect. Which is simply that drop of blood that you see whenever I go for my meddling web age in. Oh, it's sheep. Oh, okay, it's bad. See, there you go. See that blood's better? Oh, I can even show you how to add drops to the animals. Don't worry, we aren't gonna add drops to the dog's cut yet. <laughs> I don't know what to add to the drops. I'll throw the one later on, I might add drops to. I'll do the little fog one separately. Okay, so we got the stats. I did show you this code. I just forgot to do it for the herb box. See, this is the code for paint section. Basically saying if something enters and it is the player body, it will go hunting for it. It has to be body and exit. Body will be the one that um, hunts down kinetic body. Area will only hunt down area. Area will hunt down area if you use these first two. If you get what I mean, area can area. Look, if you're colliding to areas, you have to use the first two. If you're colliding a body, which is kinetic, which is um, there we go, physics body of any type, which is either the kinetic two D one or static or the actual other one. And then there you go. That's what you use to collide with it. And it's basically like if the player enters the field, it is gonna chase it. But this is code that tell that by right now this code is only here to say an entity has entered the field. Go and it's when it tell you when exit it and then it tell and then it's like don't molotate at the end, which is something I added to this strip. So it's like 
Oh, I'm gonna chase you for a little while, and then I'm gonna stop. I don't know how effective it works, but... My half broken guy. <laughs> I think it does work. I mean, give it a shot yourself. It won't hurt, I don't think. And the soft colliders is basically telling if something is colliding, just push it out of the road. No one wants to see it. <laughs> With a bit of force. I did thought about, um, I is more than this nice. I did thought about putting this on I, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna use, like, it uh, for extra space on bouncing items out of each other. That's so far, that's out of the picture. Then we got our Wonder Controller, which is one of the coolest thing ever. Also, even that much code. Um, code. So, this is how far this animal is gonna wander. Which is 32. And these are our positions. Important to remember those. So the start target position. So update target position is basically saying target, target position now equals anywhere between this, between this wandering range up here. So anywhere between 32 and its current position, which would be 0. So anywhere between 0 and 32 would be its numbers, both y and x. Add to this, and then if it's anything like on the ends up being diagonal, so it'd be like this for example, be 10 and minus 10, e, it would go to that spot, and then get time left is if the time is left return. I'm pretty sure that is to help it make sure if it didn't make it to its spot, it would be like, Well, I would start. This is when the time on oh, no, I think it might be for the other one, time to start. That one long time and the duration. Duration is up on the other hole, on the animals itself. So start dot timer duration. It's a customized thing too, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. And then update target position is a single send out. Oh, it goes to no, it goes to that function. Oh. Yeah, I'm blind. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. I just want to go through this before we go anywhere. And then everything will come back to yellow when we look into it. Okay. So this is the tech wage. So whenever something's in wage, we can start the cooldown for... This is practically what I did by myself here. So it was a copy of, I think, attack of the hurt box itself. Which is, has a start in the end. So basically, when it attacks, it has a cooldown, which can actually be given its own number itself. So with that larger attack will have a more of a cooldown than a sword attack, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm memory collecting, I haven't done this, <laughs> looked at this in a while. I so say at the start, it is modulating equals bolts. And then modulating equals true at the end of the um, cooldown. So then it can attack again. And then self dot cooldown equals false when timer's out. Self dot cooldown starts. Yeah, it's up there. It's probably the one that's a bit more waft than the others. And then a mid single where if the cooldown is true, cooldown's out, else the cooldown ended. And it does work, clearly. You will know if it didn't work, that wolf will be attacking me like no tomorrow. The difference that a little one, this whole com one bit of code makes. Mm, that'll probably be like 10 lines or so, 10 to 30 lines of code makes two. And then, especially the bug world, like, well, then we go to here. All this is is basically like what duration to use in the export variable, which is our gold mine and dollar sign timer because I couldn't be bothered to write up a nickname. This is before they added those click nicknames in. And then I just go play. Oh, it was still too lazy. It was one or the other. Okay, now we go back here. Now we got to do it all. And now we go for here. Yay. Although, let's be honest, it'd be like half size this. Maybe I should get something smaller out. But then I also need to attack, so... Hmm. And then also be technically the same type of dog. It won't attack you forever. Well, let's go with this then. We gotta do the animation player first. I don't want to move this up here so I don't have to try to hunt. And what else do we need? Animation player, animation tree. 
I want to still fix up the border collie and the wolf there so that attacks aren't a little bit more. I guess they are attacking bastards. I still need to fix up the black wolf, not black wolf, black fox too. I need to bring this one up here. Boom. Let's go to here. Inspector. Okay, we need to assign. Oh, yeah, we find this player here. What was that when, when Jan hit? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, we need, yeah, the state machine one. So it was the animation node no, state machine. And what we need here is then bin space 2D. So this would be idle. How long are we going at here? No, oh, maybe we won't be able to do much with the animation. I might just finish up here, getting all sorted out, and this will be part seven, I think. Yeah, I'm starting to think it is seven. Okay, where else is next? I'm having a hard time walking. I know there's also running. I'll show you how to set this up. We will finish off by setting this up. Yeah, I didn't really comprehend how much actually work it costs it will take to actually put into here so you want to make sure one goes back and forward this is so you can transition if it doesn't have that it will chuck a winch at you that's beyond that one it will and we also want a attack down here attack attack uh i'm pretty sure it could have been adobe flash somewhere i did this like played around with this a bit more my problem with this is only that it's got a bit of a interaction problem, but that is just me being fussy. I do feel like that whenever I am playing it. So I don't know. I can't exactly remember what was what would be the best way or effective way of doing this. But there's some when last time I played this in a different platform, like type of stuff like this. There was like a far more better interaction, easier to move these connecting them all together. It could have been in the itself. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we're done walking one in attack. So next episode I believe will be the physical animations we do that. Uh before we begin to do that and what we did today we're not in the same one but apparently not. So we're not going to add herd in here or anything like that. Herd is it's basically our own little animation up in here. We're just going to wide it up differently and then it works just as better or even just as well as what's in here and even better because we don't have to have separate frames for it. All we got to do is, is change the sprite here to a red color and there we go. There's your visual feedback and also the blood dripping out of him. <laughs> that sounds so brutal. So now we go new up to here. Idle left. Bomb. I think I'll get that for the next episode. So, hope you enjoy. I'm Wicca Wolf. Now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on the notification if you're feeling like it. And watch more of this series if you want to learn more. And there's probably going to be more coming out. So, hope you enjoy. I'm Wicca Wolf. Now, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And I guess you can also think about it at the last minute. Check out what's outside on the Shadow if you want to see games by, done by myself, my work, and Discord servers now up and one if you want to join that. And let's put some game stuff in there, I guess, more, and see the latest on this game too. So, I'm now out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.